Look at that, it's Rob here. Uh, well, down in Oz here, it's getting a bit on the warm side. We're into beer drinking weather now, good and proper. 31 degrees today, so I'm in the shed uh, going through my junk heap to uh, move a bit of gear out. And in this case, I've got a, uh, a DC electric motor that came out of an old treadmill. Um, it's the motor that raises and lowers the ramp. And I thought, you know, oh, I might be able to use that for something. And sort of thinking, oh, you know, maybe a, something for the tool post, a little grinder or something, make it out of the motor. But who knows? You don't know how to investigate this stuff. So I start pulling it apart. And of course, it's put together with, uh, with Phillips head screws with a T slot in them. And being aluminium, um, going in aluminium, of course, like all these metal steel screws, over time they bond to the aluminium. And, uh, you know, uh, I work on motorbikes quite a bit, and uh, it's a common problem, particularly with, um, it's worse for the ch with the uh, Japanese Asian motorcycles because they don't use Allen headed bolts, uh, which, uh, you know, with Allen, Allen headed um, screws, um, you, don't have a you don't have much trouble breaking them free because the Allen head won't skip on the, on the head, but with these Phillips headed and slotted ones, you try and undo them and uh, it will just jump on the, uh, on, the, on the head and it will tear it to pieces and before you know it you're in deep, deep trouble because you've got nothing left to grip. So if you get in a situation where the screws won't come out, like these two here, what you want is one of these, one of these kits and they're cheap little things to buy, 10, 20 bucks, they're a hand impact driver. And they work just the same way as an electric impact driver, not an impact wrench, but an impact driver, and there's a big difference between them. An impact driver um, pushes down on the screw with a force hammering action, so it's driving down into the screw and turning at the same time. An impact uh, wrench is only twisting, only turning, so if you were to say use a rattle gun on this, it would just tear that bloody head to pieces. Uh, no good at all. Um, so you want an impact driver, you can get electric and air versions if you want to spend big bucks. These cost you 10, 20 bucks, they do just as good a job. In fact, they do a better job because you can feel what you're doing with them. Um, you can apply the amount of force you want to, start off light, go heavier. And uh, I've had this one about 30 years and uh, it's as good as the day I've got it. They both take a bunch of tips, they also take a, uh, uh, a half inch socket so you can use them for on nuts and bolts and things. And uh, in this case, um, we're going to use it on the screw. Now, you've got the choice of a bunch of tips there. You've got a Phillips head one, which you could use, but in this case, as it's got a slot in it, I'll use the slotted head because it will give more purchase. Uh, you've got less chance of tearing the head up and uh, put her in. Now, the way these things work is, as you push down, as they hammer down, they'll either unscrew slightly or screw up slightly, depending on how you set them. We're going to set it so it unscrews, and most of the time, that's, in fact, nearly all the time, that's what you use them for to break free stuff that's frozen. So we'll put it on. Wear a glove because these can pinch your hand on the little ram here if you're not careful. They could be a little bit longer. And then you make sure this is in firmly and just give it a sharp tap with a hammer. And you could have seen that head turn around and break free. And there you go, it actually comes. Easy as that. So that's a piece of cake. And doing it this way, you'll get those screws out every time uh, without damage. Uh, I mean, if you can't get them out with one of these things, well, they're frozen out. That, that solidly, you have to put heat or something on it and uh, we'll drill the head off or something. But for getting out stuck uh, or frozen screws, bolts, these are the go. They cost you peanuts. That one went no sweat. And then out she comes and uh, you're in business. So, uh, there you go, off she comes. Mm, no good. Plastic gearbox, so that one might be much chopped, but oh well, I can still melt down the aluminium and make some, something else out of it. And a motor's still got possibilities, so who knows. Yeah, it's even got a, a 10k uh, um, dooflingy here. Uh, <laughs> a variable resistor. So, uh, yeah. Lots of good stuff and junk. You never know what you're going to find. Anyway, there you go, folks. You want to get those screws out, get one of these. These are great. Uh, they're worth every cent. And uh, simple, but effective. All right. Um, stay warm. See you next time. Cheers.